Hello. Hello you. Welcome to a new video. So we are doing a... It's kind of like a trip update, announcement-y thing, melange <laughs> thingy. So update. a few weeks ago we did a travel update and trip announcement and we thought it would be uh, great to update you where we've got to since then. Yeah. So if you watched that video you'll know we cancelled a trip in May. Mm -hmm. And a trip in August, uh, which were both to Walt Disney World. We can't um, travel to Walt Disney World at the moment. There's no flights. Not sure we'd want to. We don't have any booking. <laughs> there's no have reservations. Any bookings for Walt Disney World. So we have no plans to travel over there at the moment. But we do have a UK type trip planned. We need to go and see some parents. Yeah, in our last trip, we said it would be a bit weird booking a trip to Disney and leaving the country without actually having seen our parents in months because of the yeah. lockdown. So we are putting that to right. So uh, we are off in August to a little road trip from here in London up to David's parents and then we're staying there for a bit and then going down to my parents. Um, so yes, so we're doing a little get out of the house, which would be nice for me because I've already been out once, apart from take the rubbish out. Yeah, so we've um, been self-isolating, so we've not been mixing with the general public, mainly because um, our parents are older um, and my one of my parents hasn't been particularly well. Nothing to do with COVID, but we would put uh, them at risk if, if we had the virus. So we've been self-isolating up to the point that we can go and visit them and the time has finally come. Yeah, it just feels a bit socially irresponsible if you, if we didn't need to go out to go out any more than we needed to. So yeah, yeah we've kept ourselves to ourselves. Yeah, so that is our first sort of mini trip. We're gonna be traveling the UK. We will be filming some bits, so we will be sharing that with you. If it's any good. <laughs> and you know from our last video that we have February booked, February 21, which is um, Los Angeles, uh, Universal Studios over there, as well as Disneyland Resort. Well, we're hoping to go to Disney, but at the moment, who knows what's going to happen? Oh, who knows if we're going away next February? We yeah. might not even leave in the country, go to America. It may not be the right time to go. No. So we have no tickets for Disney or anything booked for Disney other than a hotel, and we have an apartment booked for the first part of that stay, which is over in the Hollywood Hills, which we're very excited about. Can't wait to do that yeah. hopefully we're, we're not getting our hopes up too much though because um who knows so even though we haven't had our first refund from virgin atlantic for our yeah August trip, we gave them more money because uh <laughs> we're going in february which i think is a bit mean i mean everyone's not got their money back but yeah. I'm like, oh my god we gave you more cash so we are not giving them it's anything. over 100 days since we applied for our refund and that refund hasn't come back british airways did refund um their part of things Virgin Haven, which is our flights, which is about 900 quid, they owe us. Um, hopefully that'll come through. We've not been pestering them though, but we might have to start pestering them. Yeah, and I, we appreciate that there's many of you out there who are still waiting for thousands back yeah, because yeah, yeah. of your whole holiday. Which yeah. is... If you've got a trip of like four or five people booked, then yeah, that's a lot of, yeah. that is a lot, lot of money. So back in March, April, May, May probably, the time has all just merged into one. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of months ago, when we cancelled our August trip, we priced up Disneyland Paris, not knowing if it was going to reopen or not. Though, at that stage, the pandemic was a little bit more under control in Europe, and it felt like people were getting to grips with it a bit more, and we were a little bit more hopeful that Paris would open. So we booked a trip to Disneyland Paris which is looking more and more likely to now happen. Yeah, now <laughs> which was, at the time we had no, we did not think it was gonna happen. Well, the hurdles were, you couldn't go into France without quarantining for two weeks, yeah. and only some people could enter the country. Yeah. And um, there was only one train, two trains a week or something. It was like, the, the yeah. trains were, were totally limited. So we're really lucky where we live, because we're quite central in London. So, unlike many of you who go to Paris on the vlogs we've seen who have to fly, yeah. we don't have to do that. We can literally get in a taxi to St Pancras, get on a train and go direct to the parks. We yeah. thought that felt okay for us. We were okay with yeah. that level of any risk yeah. that's associated with that rather than flying to Walt Disney World. So yeah, yeah. One, one cab, one train, and then maybe a train back to where we're staying. Yeah, so we booked that for October. Um, Is it five days? Uh, five days, four nights. Um, we always stay in Val d'Europe now. It's it's just fantastic. It's like two minutes away. The hotel 
Elise. Yeah. It's it's lovely really, hotel. It's really good hotel. Rooms are lovely. Bathrooms lovely. Beds are great. They had a lovely breakfast. Whether they were still that, I don't know. Um, it's a Disney partner hotel, so you can get your tickets through them and get extra magic hours or extra yeah. magic time or whatever it's called. And I know there's a reluctance to stay in Val Drip because you have to get on a train, but the machines for the trains, that mean they're English option. Super easy. It's like, also it's quicker easy. to leave your hotel room, time it right, get on a train, which is I think was every 10 minutes. Yeah. The train takes two minutes. You're straight there in the Disney park. It's 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 quicker to get into the park than it is staying at Some Sequoia the, Lodge or Cheyenne or The Santa walking, Fe. yeah, the walking can be, be further. And it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Yeah, so we, we booked this as a package through Disney. So it was uh, the park tickets and hotel for four nights. I think it came in at around £900. Um, and then the Eurostar was £60 each way per person. Yeah. And that's the whole trip. So we booked that weeks and weeks and weeks ago. And not knowing whether it was going to happen, it all had uh, free cancellation at the time. Yeah, they're very good. Um, so we it felt risk-free. And I think the deposit was like 150 quid maybe. And you can pay in installments, can't you? You can pay in five installments. Like, it just it made a lot of sense. And I think I said in my in the last video that um, having something booked in is a really positive thing, um, but doing it sensibly, so making sure you can cancel it, making sure you can change it, all of those things. So that was really, really yeah, helpful. really. It's been really helpful knowing that we have a potential trip in October. Yeah, and Whether now it feels like it's not. probably going to happen. Yeah. So at the time of filming, the parks have been open for a week. People are, are now visiting and. Yeah, it's crazy to see it open and it looks great. Yeah. Like it looks really good. It also means we get to see our parents, which, you know, when we did our last announcement, we had no plans. There was nothing on the cards because yeah. it wasn't allowed. And now, yeah, we're very excited to go and be able to stay at least in the same house with a mask. <laughs> yeah. No hugging till Christmas. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's just a joy to be able to go and yeah. um, see them because did, we didn't think we would be able to. No. And we're, we're still a bit dubious about getting on a number of trains or public transport to get there. So, yeah, yeah driving there seems the most obvious yeah. option. So, a week in August, visiting parents. A week in October, almost a week in October. Going, I'm calling it a week. Going to Disneyland Paris. And we have LA in February. Fingers might happen, crossed. might not happen. And um, our plans for 2021 are probably to do more Paris trips. And... Um, that next year yeah I'm so confused <laughs> I'm like is that next year the year probably after? do more Paris trips and stuff but who knows because the world is such a crazy place right now like anything um, could happen but we just wanted to give you an update what we've been doing what we've been thinking what our plans are there's plenty more content coming on the channel um, we've got some great ideas between now and our next trip so make sure you you carry on subscribing and liking and checking out the videos yeah we hope you've got something fun planned it's always good to have something yeah. in the diary and if you're not then at least if you're th or if you're thinking about it then we hope um those plans do come off yeah and thank you for watching thank you for commenting and uh, we'll see you in the next video take care bye Ta -ta.